now we've hor- now we've horrified everybody. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're talking all about Freon, symptoms of a Freon leak, why it's so blast expensive, and then don't forget to stay till the end where we give you tips on how to prevent a Freon leak in your house. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, Dan. Hi, how you doing? Good. Um, so today, I thought that it would be a timely conversation to have about um, air conditioner not cooling, but specifically Freon leaks. Um, okay. I know that Freon is probably what, uh, or Freon leak is probably what most people don't want to hear, and that's what you're most afraid of. Mm -hmm. Um, Right. So I was wondering if you could take us through maybe some symptoms of a Freon leak and maybe things to look for if if your air conditioner isn't working well to see if that might be the problem. Right. And, you know, just to preface this, you know, it used to be, you know, adding Freon or having a Freon leak used to be when I talk about 20 years ago was one of the most um, I'll say common inconsequential you know it was a cheap easy fix and uh, really didn't have a whole lot to think about Mm -hmm. or that is all completely changed now with uh, with government regulation and um, the rules laws of supply and demand it's made refrigerant quite expensive and um, it's a whole different type of repair than what it was before. So, but, uh, but yeah, the uh, refrigerant leak, you know, what, how do you know if you have a refrigerant leak? Well, one, know that, you know, a lot of times we'll get calls, gee, I think I need my air conditioner recharged or can you charge Mm -hmm. it up or, you know, just know that refrigerant um, doesn't go bad. It doesn't get stale, it doesn't wear out. You know, if, uh, if we have to add refrigerant, it's because it has leaked out. You know, that's that's the only reason we would be putting refrigerant in. So symptoms of an air conditioner that uh, is running short of refrigerant would be uh, short of capacity. It's, it's operating uh, at less than full capacity. So think of how would an air conditioner that was too small cool my house? Mm-hmm. So it's going to be running all the time. You know, that air isn't going to feel quite as cold as it should. Um, you know, just a general lack of performance. Uh, is typically a sign of uh, the units running short of refrigerant. Mm-hmm. So a, a Freon leak won't make the air conditioner stop working. It's just not going to be working very well. Well, it's not going to be ver- working very well, but thanks for that reminder. It, it actually can make the air conditioner stop. Okay. And what I mean by that, uh, there is a strange phenomenon. If you think about uh, 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 an air conditioner that's leaking refrigerant, if it just leaks a little bit of refrigerant, there's still enough refrigerant in the system that it can refrigerate, it can actually do some cooling, but it will operate at, cause uh, the coil inside to the pressure to be lower than what it should be, which means the temperature of that coil is gonna be lower than what it should be. And it'll actually function around 32 degrees. At 32 degrees, and do you know what happens at 32 degrees? Is that, that is freezing, right? That is freezing, okay. yes it is. <laughs> of course, you, you're in a part of the I didn't go to air conditioner school, cell, but I know They that. go by Celsius, you know. Yeah, but, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, 32 degrees is freezing. Mm-hmm. And so when you think about uh, an air conditioner with a coil that's operating at 32 degrees, or maybe even a little below that, mm-hmm. and you think of all the humidity that's in the air that right. we're taking out of the air when we're running an air conditioner, well, that humidity, that condensation that we normally run off and run to a floor drain uh, is going to freeze onto the coil. And so that's when it's a very common complaint, gee, I see ice on a refrigerant line, or I see ice, I can literally see ice on a coil and that, that sort of thing. That That is stopping the airflow, which then just kind of literally snowballs the effect of, of how the air conditioner is uh, malfunctioning and it and it literally will be everything's running. I hear the blower running inside the house. I see the unit outside running, and yet I don't feel any air moving. I don't feel it's not cooling anything. And yes, it makes it basically it's not functioning, even though everything is on and running. Okay, so, and yeah. and so we know that Freon doesn't leak out 
unless there is an actual leak, like you're not going right. to use it up. But then what makes it leak? Like what could create a leak in the system? Yeah. Well, there's uh, there, there are a number of things, you know, there are um, access points to the refrigeration system that sometimes can leak, you know, the caps, the service caps and mm -hmm. little Schrader valves, much like kind of the uh, depressor on your, your car tire, you know, that, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, or we can develop leaks in the components in the air conditioning system. So we can, uh, there are certain, uh, you know, uh, solder joints can, uh, can begin to leak uh, over time. Vibration can cause components to vibrate and rub against each other and cause leaks. So mm -hmm. there's a number of different ways it can cause a leak. Okay. Uh, but uh, it usually starts out as something very slow. It starts out as a, in a very slow process of, you know, a lot of times it does it so gradually. It's kind of like the uh, proverbial toad in the uh, pot of boiling water. You know, it, it happens so slowly over time that you're going, you finally get to a point, gee, is that thing cooling like it should? You know, mm. you really realize that, uh, uh, wait a minute, this thing isn't operating as good as I remember it was last, last year, or last month or something like that. But, uh, but you can also uh, leak uh, rather quickly, you know, something mm -hmm. catastrophically can break or crack. Vibration can cause a, a refrigerant line to uh, vibrate and move over time. It gets brittle and can crack and things like that. So it can happen really either way. Does it, um, does Freon have any kind of a smell? Like, can you sense it if it's leaking? Yeah, out? no, not really. <laughs> no? Uh, you know, sometimes you can smell it as kind of an oily type you know, there's a lot of oil in that refrigerant that you'll kind of smell, but typically not. No, you would have to be like, it. if you sense it, you would have to be like up in the unit. It's not like you could just be yeah. in your house and you're like, I think I smell right. Freon. I oh, have, okay. in all the years, uh, decades of, of working on air conditioners, I've never known anyone to be overcome by refrigerant or... Um, so it can't uh, make you <laughs> sick by like, like carbon um, monoxide? Mon yeah. No. Yeah. Now, granted, it's not oxygen. It's not air. Right. You know, you can't breathe it. You know, but uh, but really, we don't ever really ever have it in a residential setting mm -hmm. uh, in concentrations that uh, I've ever seen any kind of health effect like that. Right. Now, in a commercial building, you know, where you might have a system with uh, many, many, many more pounds of refrigerant, you know, and if something catastrophic broke, you know, you could have situations like that, but, mm -hmm. but on a residential system, no, it's not know. something that you would notice if it was incidentally. Yeah. If you're out. smelling something, it's probably something it's other not than that. Refrigerant, not refrigerant, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. And mm -hmm. does it, so if you have a leak, does it leak mm -hmm. only when it's on or does it, is it just constantly leaking out? Yeah. Well, that's a good question, but it, yeah, it's leaking all the time. You all know, the time. that refrigerant is a sealed system. And uh, if it's sealed, like I said, it doesn't leak out. It doesn't wear out. It doesn't go bad, you know. But um, uh, if it does leak out, um, uh, yeah, it'll just be slowly over time that it'll, it'll do that. And, and So uh, is this why, like, sometimes, let's say you had a slow leak one summer and maybe it just wasn't keeping up or something, but mm -hmm. you didn't, it was fine. Right. But then the first time you turn it on the next season, it might be totally out, right? Yes, because it's okay. sat there all winter leaking, leaking mm. just a little, little bit. You know, right. you think about it. This isn't very much refrigerant to begin with. And uh, yeah, it's leaking every day of the year. All, all Every day last winter it was leaking, you know. So yeah, you mm. can have that. You can have that problem. So if you've, if you've had a problem in the past, it's always wise to turn that thing on early. You know, turn it on when it's not super. Don't you know? Don't wait for that really, really hot day. Well, let's flip it on and and uh, then find out that oh, gee, all my refrigerants leaked out or something like that. Right. You know, so. Like maybe do a preemptive check and just make mm -hmm. sure everything's yeah. cool. Right. Literally. Yep. But uh, you know, uh, leaks. Um, they're you know when we know we have a leak, we can find them. You know, that's another kind of misnomer. Is a lot of uh, service companies that I've seen over the years, you know, really either don't have the tools to find the leak and to find the refrigerant leak, or it does take time sometimes, you know, but uh, when you have the experience we do, you know, there's some critical points we can check on an air conditioning system. So it's not taking up hours and hours, you know, to find it that uh, we, we know critical points uh, 
to check first, you know, the, you know, cover the most likely, you know, areas. Do you and find sometimes a leak it visually? depends on the model of the air conditioner. You oh. know, we know that a particular brand or type of coil or something like that might have a, a tendency to leak over time in a, a certain place or a certain way. Do you, is it something, so if you look in these hot points of where there's usually a leak, do you just see a leak visually or do you have to use a certain, a special tool? No, you, there are sometimes you can, you know, sometimes really? you can't. That's, it's usually a pretty catastrophic one if you can see, uh, you know, you might have a wet coil and I see a little bit of bubbling moisture or something like, you know, think of like a leak on a tire. It'd be about like fun seeing a leak on a tire, mm. you know, you see a little bit of bubbling or something like that. But uh, you no, know, typically we need electronic uh, leak detectors. And so these are very sophisticated electronic devices that can that are trained to sniff these refrigerants, you know, mm -hmm. and um, uh, help us greatly in pinpointing where a, where a problem is. So. so then how do you fix it? How to fix it, it depends on where it is. You know, um, manufacturers over the years have um, uh, experimented or used different types of materials, you know, for the coils that we have. And even a number of years ago, there were problems with uh, contamination of uh, indoor air that was causing um, corrosive behaviors on the coils that were uh, causing coils to leak before they should. Mm -hmm. Some uh, some coils are made out of aluminum. Some are made out of copper and aluminum. It's a combination of those things. So it really kind of hinges on mm -hmm. uh, where the leak is, how we can fix it, and how we can't fix it. Um, I will tell you now, you know, that uh, the coils that we're putting in today um, are extremely good. You know, they, they, it's very unusual to have a leak like on a, on a cooling coil on top mm -hmm. of a furnace or something like that. You know, it's, um, they, uh, uh, they're very reliable. They're made very well. You know, mm -hmm. they've, They've learned a lot over the years as far as these types of things like corrosives in the air and things like that. So, mm -hmm. so the leak is usually in the coil? It uh, can be. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, um, a good percentage of them can be on that indoor coil. Mm -hmm. But um, um, Like where would you expect a leak to be? A lot of times there are joints that are all field uh engineered you know they're they're in these components are installed in the field you know mm. so um, um there are joints being made when the, the day the house was built you know that kind of thing so mm -hmm. be a number of different places so. once again it goes back to the most important day in the life of the system is that's the right. day it was installed right <laughs> right that's right i heard that somewhere you've heard that before I don't, um, yeah. it is in, in today's world now it is expensive you know right. it's uh it's, it's That's not the EPA's get fault. That's not our fault. <laughs> it's not our fault. It, it is, it is uh, quite frankly, unbelievable mm -hmm. what's happened to the, the cost of refrigerants, you right. know, and um, it's all due to government regulation and supply and demand and mm -hmm. telling companies what they can make and can't make and things like that. But, uh, but what you need to know is if, if you've got an air conditioner and it's running, but it doesn't seem to be cooling and I don't think it's keeping up in it. Gee, it's kind of sounding like all these symptoms that Raymond and Andrew were talking about. Give us a call and have it checked. It is, mm -hmm. there is false economy thinking, well, gee, I'm, it's too expensive to have looked at. I'm gonna put up with it because it is, uh, it's causing the air conditioner to work extremely hard mm -hmm. when it doesn't have the refrigerant in it. It's going to be running many, many more hours than it needs to be. And that just uh, causes your utility bill to go up and you're not comfortable, you know, and, and so, it's still leaking. So and it's, it's, still leaking. it's better to have to add so, one pound of Freon than to have to add four. <laughs> yeah. So let's, uh, let's get it looked at. Let's get it figured out because nobody likes a leaky air conditioner. Since a Freon leak is t typically caused by vibrations and things like that. Is that stuff that could be prevented in maintenance or does that stuff oh, that just happens? Yeah, good point. Definitely. So that's one of the things we always look at, you know, mm -hmm. when we're checking an air conditioner, you know, there, 
there are uh, components that, you know, can move over time or, mm -hmm. you know, copper is bendable. It can move, you know, these copper lines. And mm -hmm. yeah, we're always looking for things like that, that something's rubbing up against something that shouldn't be and uh, can cause a problem. So, yo, no, absolutely. So the and technicians can, can see if, if there's maybe a possible weak spot forming. Exactly. Okay. Or gosh, let's uh, get some separation here between those components because, uh, something could rub up against something and over time be a problem. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we catch things. That's a big part of our maintenance tune up is mm -hmm. looking for things like that. That could be a problem in the future. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching our video, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it and learned some tips for preventing a freon leak in your house. If you found this video useful, please hit like or subscribe so you can see more of our stuff. Also, if you have any questions that you want us to make a video about, anything that you are wondering about with your HVAC system or anything about the industry in general, leave a comment below and we'll make a video just for you and post it on here. So we'll see you soon.